Your Linear Smart Garage Door Opener's safety beam is designed to help protect people and objects from injury or damage caused by a closing garage door. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use your safety beam's LED lights to troubleshoot and resolve issues that prevent your safety beam from functioning properly. The safety beam set consists of a sender unit and a receiver unit. The sender has a single green LED and sends a beam of IR light similar to your TV remote control. The receiver unit has both a green and red LED and sends information about the beam to the garage door operator. As a safety feature, the garage door will not close if a person or object is in the safety beam's path. All of the safety beam's LED lights should remain solidly illuminated at all times. If you notice any of the LED lights are off or blinking, complete the following troubleshooting steps. If you notice the sender and receiver's green LED lights are off, the beam is not receiving AC power. To troubleshoot and resolve this issue, begin by ensuring the operator is receiving AC power. You'll know the operator has power if you see at least one of the following. Illuminated lights on the wall station, a functioning main operator light. If all of these lights do not work, the operator is not receiving power. This could indicate either your garage or the opener's outlet are not receiving power. Select the video link shown on screen for instructions on how to troubleshoot power issues. If your operator is receiving AC power, your next troubleshooting step is to ensure the beam and receiver are properly wired and powered up. Examine the safety beam's wires for anything indicating a short in the safety beam wiring. Make sure there are no staples compressing or breaking the safety beam's wires. Also make sure the wires are fully and properly connected to the operator terminals. The sender and receiver wires connect to the operator screw terminals located on the back of the operator. Both the sender and receiver should have one wire fully wrapped around the screw terminal labeled COM for common, and one wire fully wrapped around the terminal screw labeled BEAM. If any of the wires have become disconnected or broken, rewrap the wires. Also make sure the exposed ends of the two COM wires are not touching the exposed ends of the two BEAM wires. Additionally, make sure the beam's wire's exposed ends are not touching any of the wall station wire exposed ends. Now let's discuss the receiver's red LED light. A solid red LED light indicates the receiver is detecting the sender's infrared beam. If you see a blinking red light on the receiver, the sender's infrared beam is only partially detected by the receiver. If the receiver's red light is completely off, the receiver is not detecting the beam at all. This means there's either an object blocking the beam's path or the beam's misaligned. To solve this problem, you'll want to first check the safety beam's path to ensure there are no objects blocking the path. If there are no objects blocking the beam's path, your safety beam may be misaligned. To realign the safety beam, First, rotate the sender vertically towards the ceiling. Then rotate the sender back towards a horizontal position with the floor and stop as soon as the red light on the receiver lights solid. Once you see a solid red light on the receiver, the beam is properly aligned. Note, make sure you stay out of the beam's path while fixing the beam's alignment. If the receiver's red light continues to remain off, Check for the following common issues. Make sure there's no dirt on the receiver's lens. If you detect dirt on the lens, clean the lens with a cloth. Ensure there's no sunlight shining into the receiver's lens. The safety beam receiver should be located on the shady side of the door to prevent sunlight from shining directly into the receiver's lens. If the receiver was installed on the sunny side of the door, the receiver will need to be relocated to the shady side. If none of these troubleshooting steps work for you, contact a qualified garage door professional. Or if you have any further questions, please use the contact information shown on screen.